This is Chris Borzon from the Ram Truck Commercial Vehicle Team. When it comes to Ram Trucks, I know PTOs. PTO, or Power Takeoff, is your source of power for the upfit that you install on the vehicle. So the first thing that I usually do is a quick vehicle self-test. I start the engine, I come over, I press the PTO button. The RPM should ramp up to 900. The PTO light will flash eight seconds on the gas and 30 seconds on the diesel, at which point PTO will drop out and the vehicle will return to idle. If all you need is 900 RPM and the ability to adjust your speeds up and down with the cruise control switches, you don't need any programming. But I know a lot of you typically want a single set speed, let's say 1200 RPM. With the left hand steering wheel buttons, you scroll through until you find the commercial settings and enter. You'll see a pin number. It should be factory set at 0000, so you simply scroll across. But once you're in the commercial mode, you'll want to find PTO parameters. You'll enter PTO parameters. The next thing you'll see is single set RPM. You'll want to enter that and scroll down to the speed you want. We said 1200. Select 1200. Now the setting is saved. You need to install this connection on the VISA module. VISA module is the vehicle system interface module. It's located on the instrument panel just forward of the park brake release lever. You'll need to install the brown wiring harness and find on that brown wiring harness the orange wire with the brown tracer. Make sure you don't use the brown wire with the orange tracer because that's also there. Orange wire with the brown tracer needs to find a permanent ground located under the instrument panel. Any convenient metal ground source will work. Once that wire is grounded, your PTO will now run continuously. All you need to do under the hood is go to this connector, the light gray connector. The only two connections you need to make here, passenger side lower, pin number two, 12 volts to go to your hot shift solenoid. Driver side upper, pin number three, that's ground. Once you make those connections, you're good to go. On the driver's side of the transmission is located the PTO pressure port that connects to your hot shift solenoid. Note, there are two fittings here, an upper and a lower. Make sure you use the lower of the two to connect to your hot shift solenoid to power your PTO. This connection here is the front cooling line on the bell housing of the transmission. At the top, remove that fitting to connect to the lubrication port on the power takeoff unit. That covers stationary PTO mode. For other PTO modes or special applications, check out our website. Thanks.